Good morning, investors. My name is Louis from the COSEC Research Team. Today is Monday, the 28th of February, and here is your pre-market wrap. Yesterday, the Australian stock market ended flat on Friday at 6,996, while in the US markets surged with the Dow Jones rising more than 2.5%. Thomas Matthews from Capital Economics has noted how equities haven't fallen much since Russia invaded Ukraine, meaning there is probably limited scope for a relief rally should tensions ease, and that the chance of sustained period of poor returns from equities in the US has probably increased as a result. In Europe, Goldman Sachs has officially lowered their targets for the continent's benchmarks. They expect the Europe's Stock 600 index at 4,900 points in 12 months, down from 5,300 previously. The new target implies virtually no full-year returns in Europe for 2022. In Asia, markets ended broadly higher, though the only index to end lower was the Hang Seng. Moving to commodities, iron ore lost some ground, falling 2% to $138 per tonne, while the price of gold has eased yet again, pulling back to $1,888 per ounce. Two currencies, the Fed, as the Fed policy's position tightens, JP Morgan strategists have labelled the bond market liquidity conditions as still challenging after a historically weak seven-year bond auction. Meanwhile, Bitcoin and Ethereum are both lower in the last 24 hours at 37,900 and 2,630 respectively. Finally for this morning, our SPY futures are 2.39% higher at 7,118. This market wrap has been brought to you by COSEC, Kadari Securities.